It is 4.10 a.m. and I'm just pulling out of the driveway now. So good morning, everybody. This is gonna be a day in the life of me. I'm a physician assistant student. I'm currently working in surgery, hence this early start. I usually get up around 3.30 in the morning, uh, brush my teeth, do something to my hair. That's not this. <laughs> Didn't have time this morning. And just kind of collect all my belongings, get things together and try to get out of the door before 4.15. And so I have about 35, 40 minute drive to the hospital. I usually like to listen to a couple of podcasts, get those in, wake up a little bit. And one thing I've been doing is not drinking my coffee right away after waking up. I usually try to wake up naturally for about an hour and then I'll dive into that awesome morning brew that makes me poo. Mm -hmm. Cause let's be real, that's very, very important for surgery. Timing your bowel movements. I know, I know it's early, but we're getting going. So fast forward, now it's lunchtime. Having my cup of soup, got some Triscuits, classic. Those are my staple. I think I'm made, 12% of my body is made up of Triscuits, fact. Anyway, so first patient related thing that I did was a little after five o'clock, went and talked to the patient who had their gallbladder removed yesterday. Checked in on her, see how she was doing. And then from 5.30 until about 6.20, we went on rounds as a team. Uh, this was resident rounding. Um, then from 6.30 until 7, we had morning report, um, which morning report is all of the attendings, the fellows, residents, students, everyone hops on a Zoom call and we all talk about the uh, patients that are currently on our service. There are 21 of them on our service right now. Um, so just kind of touch base and see how everyone's doing. During the morning report, I usually eat my overnight oats. And if you've never tried them, I highly recommend you do. They're super easy and they power you through your entire morning. It's great, it's awesome. And then from seven o'clock until eight o'clock, we had an M&M &M conference, which is morbidity and mortality conference. Sort of kind of reviewing various things uh, that have happened throughout the past weeks or months um, where there have been errors that have occurred um, and there's just room for improvement. No matter where you are in medicine, there's always room for improvement. So these morbidity and mortality conferences are aimed at filling those gaps wherever we can and improving wherever we can. So that was until eight o'clock. And then at 8.30, the case started. Um, so I went into a case, it was a tracheostomy revision. Uh, so patient previously had a trach tube, um, needed revised, and now it is noon and we are eating some lunch. So this should power us through the rest of the day. I wish I could take you into the hospital with me and show you some stuff, um, but you know, gotta be mindful of HIPAA and patient privacy and things like that. Gonna hit the gym after work today. And that's pretty much what my day holds, so. Oh, and this week is National Physician Assistant Week. So starting October 6th, we have a recognition of the PA profession, which is really cool. So there's all sorts of things on social media and through the news and stuff that we're doing to gain recognition of the profession more um, so that patients understand what a PA is, what we can do, what we can't do. So it's kind of a special week for our profession. Okay, friends, it is four o'clock now and it's closing time from lunch until now. Uh, we just rounded on some more patients, went and talked to some more people. Uh, we had a couple of consults in the emergency department, so went down and saw those and just kind of did some studying and reading and whatnot. And that's it. That's a day. So now it's time to hit the gym. What the, what is going on up what is that? I mean, I know I'm not straight, but at least my hair can be. Jeez.
Whoa, 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 let's slow our roll here. You've seen me pick things up and put them down again. So that's what I did at the gym. I'm actually doing a new program. It is by Jeff Nippard. He is a YouTuber, so go check out his channel. I highly recommend it because he has awesome information about lifting and diet, nutrition, all this cool stuff. I felt like I was being stagnant in just doing a push, a pull, and a leg day and it just kind of was getting monotonous. And what I'm doing is a total body lifting program. And of course you focus on certain body parts on certain days, but it just feels like it's a lot more break in the monotony of push, pull, legs. And so I worked out for a little over an hour and then I went to the grocery store to get some stuff. Uh, it's right next door. And so I didn't feel like cooking tonight. So I grabbed a rotisserie chicken, which made my car smell heavenly and I couldn't wait to get home to have some so of course I had a drumstick in the car didn't have any napkins so my hands were stickier than the last time I went to P-Town so that's what I had for dinner just some rotisserie chicken and a sweet potato and I'm not sure exactly what time it is right now but I got about an hour or two before I'm going to try to hit the sack and then we get to do it all over again and I got done editing part of this video already and set up my clothes for tomorrow, got my gym clothes for tomorrow, and of course, the overnight oats. They are going strong. I will enjoy those in the morning, but for now I gotta get to bed. Hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into the life. See you in the next one.